What's up guys? Rico from Society here with another video. Right here we're with the EJ6 and we got my homie Jose right here. He brought over and his little brother. What's your name bro? Alexis. Alexis. And they brought over their Del Sol. And I mean, if you guys like this channel then you know this is what we're about right here. Nice Del Sols. Walk around to this. This thing is beautiful, dude. What the interior? Beautiful ass Momo wheel. Some nice little carbon inlay right there that he did. These seats right here, man. If you guys have Del Sol's, you guys will know how hard it is to find some seats that look decent. Um, everything else inside is just clean, man. This car is really nice. I just sent him home with some freaking Del Sol mats right here and an idle air control valve. Hopefully that fixes a little surge idle issue that he's having with that. But another little carbon accent right there looks really good. I think it's nice. Shout out to Jose for bringing it by. This thing looks good. So this car right here is on some BBS reps. Underneath, it's got a full skunk two cap back all the way out the end. Go back there right now. So it's got full skunk two all the way from the header back. Yeah, doing our little walk around before Jose has to take off because he drove like an hour to come here. Say what's up. All right, y'all. So Jose's taking off. Gonna film him taking off right here. What is up guys, Rico from Society coming at you with another video and in this one I'd like to start off by saying that yesterday I didn't record an intro to the video so it is going to start off like just all of a sudden uh, with the guest that we had yesterday which was Sunday, today is Monday but in Monday's video which is our Monday's episode slash upload what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be trying to work on our Blue Dell Soul that's outside, um, as in fixing the toe that it has, because the toe is messed up. So one of the wheels is like where, where I hit the curb, the wheel's like inward. And I need to fix that toe by adjusting the, the inner tie rods and maybe even having to adjust the coilover sleeves because I think maybe it skipped the thread or it jumped the thread when I hit the curb so hard because it is sitting lower on the driver's side where I had the accident than it's sitting on the passenger side. So I just hope I didn't like blow my strut out or anything. So today we're gonna be trying to look at everything over there that's really wrong with it. We're gonna take it apart, look underneath, look inside everything. Uh, hopefully I don't have to take too much of it apart, but we're gonna end up doing that. Oh, you guys might've noticed these, huh? Yeah, these sick Del Sol pins right here. These pins are made by a friend of mine named Marvin, or you guys can follow him on Instagram at Right Hand Drive Soul. I'll tag him right here. He sells these pins for, let me get the prices. The pin prices are 10 for one, 17 for two, 38.50 for five, or 70 for 10. And that is shipped, I believe. So yeah, you guys can hit up Marvin at Right Hand Drive Soul again, and you guys can get yourself some of these. But, because we are the society, and we're cool like that, and Marvin is also a really dope guy, I purchased these two, and he sent me eight extras. So with those eight extras, we're gonna be giving away one in every video. So, to enter this giveaway, you're gonna have to one, comment on the video you have to like the video and you have to subscribe to this channel so if you want to win one of these pins 
make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. So, I will show you right now which colors we have that we're gonna be giving away. So we've got the green. And here, let me show you guys what these look like. So they're double sided. I mean, they're double pointed, so they're not gonna like spin around wherever you put them. We've got the green, the red, and if you wanna buy any of these, I suggest you hurry up because the red, he said he only has two of them left. The black, the like pink. I don't know what these colors are, some of them, because I'm like fucking partially colorblind, so if I butcher these colors, you guys are gonna have to like forgive me when I send you the wrong color pin. We've got this is like a gray, a little dark gray, or like I'd say like a mid shade of gray. It's not dark either. This is another confusing one for me. I don't know if it's blue or purple, one of the two. You guys figure that out. I mean, I don't know if it's blue or purple, but there's that one. There's this other one that's that's not white. This is like a like a dirty white is what I'd call it. And lastly, we've got this like light blue, almost like a like a. This is like the best color representation right at this angle. You guys get the gist of it. I mean, it's like a baby blue. We got that one. So yeah, we're gonna be giving away these eight pins here. Make sure you guys follow the rules so you can be entered to the giveaway. And yeah, let's get going on to the next part of the video. Another thing we're gonna be doing is installing this. This is the Soul Society Del Sol antenna block off plate. Now, this is just a Del Sol block off plate that's custom made by a company called Skyler Labs. I'll make sure to tag their Instagram right here so you guys can find a way to get to their website too. You do have to register for his website and make an account to be able to see these items and the prices. So make sure you guys go into his Instagram, click the link in there and you guys follow the website. Uh, but yeah, let me show you guys the in depth of this thing here so that uh, you can see how we're gonna be installing it today and what we're gonna be doing. This is pretty cool. Now, this is a custom Soul Society design that I had him make for me. Um, normally it will come with this Del Sol engraving that you guys can see here. It's kind of hard with my lighting that I have. I don't know what the heck's going on, but I have to just get it at the right angle. It comes with Del Sol engraving. You'll get the front of the block off. You'll get this backing plate that has this curvature, which is kind of the secret to the reason this thing mounts so perfectly and the, the secret to the success of it compared to the other aftermarket block offs that people have made for Del Sol's. This will actually fit correctly. And I believe this utilizes the OEM, um, the OEM gasket. So I think you're gonna need that. It will also come with these uh, cardboard spacers, which I believe are just made for shipping so your block off isn't scratching up against itself when they're together. Um, you're also gonna receive one set of nuts and a set of washers and yeah your key and that's what you'll be receiving let's go get it installed so unfortunately guys the way we have this set up the rain is not gonna allow us to install this on the blue del sol because the antennas on this side of the car which is the one facing the rain and kind of exposed it's not under my canopy so I don't want to have the camera sitting here and getting rain all over it and wet. So what we're going to do, we're, we're still going to install it on here, but I'm going to show you guys how to install it on this one since this one is under the canopy and I can have the camera here. I'll show you guys how to install it on this one and then we'll just take it over to the blue one after the fact. We'll install it and then I'll show you guys the finished product on the blue car. So yeah, let's do that. So the first thing you're gonna have to do with your antenna, this one's broken, you're gonna have to take something like a screwdriver, maybe some needle nose pliers, and you're gonna have to just twist this till you get this lock ring off of the antenna, and you can take it off. So we've got that off. I'm gonna have to start talking pretty loud just because the rain is starting. There's fucking there's fucking planes flying above, there's rain, there's probably gonna be thunder soon, so we're gonna have to be really loud. 
but uh, we're gonna have to upload and record anyway. How it is. Um, now, after you've taken off this lock ring here, which is metal, you're gonna take the antenna housing off. It'll just slide off. Once you get this off, the gasket that we're gonna need is the one that's right here. This is the gasket. It's gonna go hand in hand with our other custom made one. See that? Perfect. Perfect fit. Beautiful. All right. Now that we've gotten it to this, where we've got the antenna just like moving around in there, we gotta do, we gotta start attacking it from the trunk now. But before we go over to the trunk and get it out, once you've gotten it to this point, we can go in the trunk. I have the tripod set up right there so you guys can get a view. We're gonna get it out from the trunk, but what we first have to do is come over here. You're gonna have to remove at least your speaker covers. And there is a bracket in here. It's very hard to see. Let me see if I can zoom into it. There's a bracket in here, right? Oh, let me see. That bracket right there on the left is bolted down with a 10 millimeter bolt. 10 or 12, I can't really see or feel it well, but let me see, I'll find out right now. It's either a 10 or a 12, and we're gonna have to get in there with the ratchet and undo that bracket so that the antenna can come loose and we can pull it out from the trunk. All right, so it was a 10 mil. Now that you've disconnected that, you'll have free movement of the antenna. You can see it there already falling down and it's not in the hole here anymore. So once you have free movement in the antenna, we don't even need this tripod here anymore because all we gotta do reach in here, grab it, pull it. There's a drain tube attached to it, which is this clear one. This clear drain tube, you're not gonna need that anymore because there's nothing gonna be able to get in there. It's gonna be completely sealed off. Just rip that out with it and the bracket and you'll have your antenna removed. All right guys, so I just had a stupid ass moment. So, um, you guys know how I told you guys you had this little key here and I completely forgot about it. The reason he provides this to you is because it's made to take off this circular ring here with these notches. That's why it's cut out. I don't know why they didn't think of this and I was like wondering right now what the fuck is this key for? But yeah, that's what it's for. It's cut out in the notches and it's made to take this off here so that you can get it off easily without having to fuck up any anything on your car without scratching it. It'll just be really easy. So yeah. That's what that key is for, if anybody was wondering, like, yeah, when the hell is he gonna use that? Yeah. Now we can take this out, throw it in there, because we don't need that no more, and we can start installing this. So since my dumbass wasn't thinking last time, and I did the gentleman who made these an injustice and didn't use the key, I'm gonna use it this time. That's what it's for, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what it's for. I say gentlemen, but you know there's probably some ladies watching. Yeah, see that? That's what it's made for. All right, now I'll catch you guys once this is installed on here. All right, y'all. That's how it looks right here. not going anywhere that's for sure it's on there good man and look at the fitment look at the gasket OEM fitment right there that's what I'm talking about love it this is a great product make sure you guys go check out Skyler Labs sign up for his website do whatever you got to do to get your hand on one of these because these are dope I would take one of these over the OEMs any day like I said perfect fitment that's not a gap that's just paint from the white dough sole. That's the gasket from the white dough sole, so it's painted, but the gap is perfect. There's none. All right. Now that we've installed our block off, we can move on to this toe here. So, as you guys can see on this side, the wheel 
is obviously pointed that way a bit. And on this side here, let me try not to get the camera wet because it's raining. This side here is obviously straight. So we have either bent one of these tie rods here or we have just gotten a misaligned tie rod. So I'm gonna check it all out, lift the car up, and then we're gonna check it out. So, right now, we're just gonna lift it up real quick, um, kind of just to check out underneath what's going on. Uh, I wanna see if it's, the tie rod is bent or if it's just out of line. Uh, so for right now, I'm just gonna lift it right up and check that out. Shake it just a little bit. I'm not gonna go all the way underneath. I'm just gonna look under there real quick. So, it's not bent, at least I don't think so. We're gonna take the wheel off now. I'm gonna set it back down a little bit so I can get the wheel off. And then uh, I'm gonna lift it back up and I'm gonna check it out. But I have a feeling it's gonna be a pain in the ass because I don't really have turntables to kind of make the, the wheels turn really easily. And you're supposed to align the toe with the car's weight on the floor. So it's gonna be kind of hard since it is a lower del sol and I don't really feel like adjusting all the coils to make it higher. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is just kind of adjusting it while it's up in the air and hoping for the best. So I'm gonna go get the jack stands and I'll be right back. We got the jack stand. I still need to find the key to take off the lug nuts for my car but let's see how hard that is to find because I don't really remember where I put them. Got it. Oh shit. Ah, okay, that was in my toe. Alright. So we got our jack stands. We got our jack stands. We've got our key to getting the wheel off. And now we're gonna take it off and assess the damage a little bit better. That's better. Now I'll have to fuck in. Now we're trying to beat the sunlight or the sunset. We're not having this conversation again. You guys know what I mean. Got the wheel off. Now, I'm gonna look under here and see how bad everything is. So, when we hit that curb, we hit it hard because we have an imprint of my upper control arm on the inside of my shock tower right here, which is pretty fucking crazy and it's like pretty deep. Um, I hope I didn't mess the upper control arm up. It seems like it's still fine. Seems to be good. We also have damage on our axle from when the axle hit the subframe when it jumped up. And the axle came out from the the bolt, I mean the, the block end of the of the car. It got un, un, disconnected and it jumped up and it hit the top of our subframe. Um, and obviously we have the uh, tie rod that's out of out of whack right now along with the lower control arm that I've already replaced with a new one from another Del Sol. So with that being said the only thing we really should have to fix now is the tie rod because we've already popped in the axle and the wheel lines up it just needs to kind of be fixed where it comes to the toe because the camber should still be on the same level. So yeah when we get to working on this tie rod um, I'm going to loosen it up and I'm going to twist it just a couple degrees 
Uh, first, I'm gonna go in the car and just make sure that the car steering wheel is as straight as I can get it. All right, so the wheel is straight. The tire on the right side, it seems to be straight with the rest of the other tires along with the back driver's side tire, it's straight. So now I'm just gonna focus the tire light a little bit and hopefully we can align it a little bit better. We're gonna put on the wheel every time and just drop it and we're gonna keep adjusting until we get it right. I'm gonna bring you guys over here and show you guys a little bit of the, the progress that we've gotten so far. So, there's a tie rod, suspension. Yes, we need new calipers. I wanna get a big brake kit, but I'm broke right now, so maybe later on. Um, we just broke this loose, as you can see. You can see it's spinning. We're gonna push it back a few threads so that we can then have access to this back here and we can twist this. So we just have to figure out which way is which because I have no fucking idea. Let's, uh, let me mess with it. Like I said, we're not pros here, but we also are here to learn. So we've turned it about three turns the clockwise direction. We went clockwise and we turned it about three and a half turns in this direction to the towards the driver's side wheel because they had a uh, toe pointing outside to the left. So we're gonna tighten this bolt just a little bit, not a lot, just so it doesn't fucking move on us. I wanna make sure this isn't spinning anymore, so that's good for right now. I'm gonna get you guys out of the way. And we can see that it's still about, I mean, I'm not a mathematician. I definitely can't do it off the top of my head, but I'd say it's just a degree or two off right now. But that is a lot when you're talking about a car and wanting it to drive straight. So we're gonna lift it back up. We don't need to take the wheel off anymore just because that'd be an extra waste of time when we have access to the tie rod really easily right here. All we're gonna do is lift it up, turn it some more, and we're gonna eyeball it and I'll put some wheels on this car and then we'll take her out for a spin. All right, I don't know if you guys could see the wheel turning uh, more inward, but uh, we're gonna put it back down and we're gonna look at it again. So with the wheel straightened out, um, it, looks, it looks to be pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is lift it back up, tighten down that nut, and then we're gonna make sure that we hold down that part that we were turning. We need to hold that arm down so it doesn't spin and mess with our adjustment that we just made. So you need to make sure you hold that down with the wrench while you tighten down the nut. This wrench is gonna hold it and this is gonna lock it in place. So let me just get you guys out of the way and then I'll do that. All right, yo, broke it. I mean, we tightened it, we didn't break it loose, we tightened it. And now, all we gotta do is drop the jack sands, I mean, drop the jack, lower the car, uh, put the, the wheels back on it, because it only has like two of the original wheels which are in the front. I need to take the back ones off of the EJ and put them on here so we can take it for a spin. All right, you guys, so before the camera died, I was saying I was gonna change the wheels on the EK and put the rear wheels from the EK back onto the Del Sol, but we lost the sunlight and it got super fucking dark super quick and I have no light out there. So we called it quits for the night. Uh, that's gonna be the end for this video. Uh, we also had one of my friends come through and he brought me that light switch, if you guys might have seen on Instagram, uh, which I'll make sure to get into the next video, but he bought me that light switch for the EJ, so now we have lights on it and we can probably drive around at nighttime again. But yeah, shout out to the guy who brought it over. His Instagram is right here. It's 2000 ej 8 coop And uh, he hooked me up with that light switch for free. So big shout out to him. Uh, props for going to the junkyard and pulling it off for me. But yeah, 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. We kind of aligned the Del Sol a little bit. We also had yesterday's content in this video from my buddy who came over and brought over his uh, Samba Green Sol. So we have a little bit of a mix up of content so far. We're not really sure what we're gonna do as like, I don't really wanna jump into any big projects and get like too caught up on one thing yet. I wanna experiment a little bit, but uh, see you guys in the next video. Hope you liked it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment.